Okay, so in my previous video, I explained about the one-way valve. Forgot to mention this car has, I think around 77,000 miles, between 75 and 80 for sure. So, in this car, oil will flow in this direction towards your turbo, okay? So, I got this oil catch can off eBay. I don't even know what it's called. It just says oil catch can. It comes with a breather that can attach here. Do not do that. You will cause a vacuum leak and the car won't run right. You don't want to do that on this car. And on the intake side, it has, I guess you call that a baffle. I don't know. Don't know if it's really that important or not, but it screws in here. Don't know if it really makes a difference on the inside. It doesn't have that on the outside. Okay, there's that one-way valve I had flows into the uh, turbo inlet where the air intake attaches. And this is a cheap eBay one. I'm about to switch that out with a ZZP. This pipe diameter is wrong size, two and a half inches. Should be 2.75. Okay, so I had the catch can on for a couple days, and this is already starting to dry out. I don't think you can see quite that well with my camera but yeah you can see all the oil that was in here before or at least I could and now it's starting to dry up so that oil it'll go through the turbo it'll go through your intercooler your intercooler pipe and um, both pipes that is all right and it'll go through your throttle body It'll go through your intake manifold. That oil will get on your intake valves and your combustion chambers, your pistons. So it'll affect your fuel economy, your horsepower for sure. It's just not good for anything. So if you want everything in your intake and your combustion chambers to be cleaner, have uh, full power and uh, be good for fuel economy you want to keep all that oil out with this catch can I've only had it a few hours worth of driving and it's already started collecting some uh, low body it smells kind of like a mixture of gas and oil and you see it's pretty thin there but here up on the wall kind of looks like some thick almost sludge like material so that right there will carbon up like intake valves and combustion chambers and stuff so I should have done this a long time ago after I install a new intercooler and the air intake um, I'm gonna do an update video after a while just to see if all the pipes and stuff stay clear if I still get oil in the system then that's gonna mean that the turbo seals are going bad in the turbo and the turbo itself has oil going through it which will mean eventually the turbo will have to be replaced but hopefully not hopefully all the oil I've been seeing in the intake track is all just coming off of the uh, the PCB valve especially since my PCB valve has failed that might be causing even more oil than normal to go through here eventually I'll probably get a ported intake manifold and paint it orange and put it back here I'll get the uh, ZZP version but I'll still keep this on here just in case it fails in the future. So yeah, that's the that's the plans. I got to repaint this a different shade of blue, and that also because I'm painting my uh, intercooler pipes blue and orange, and the intake pipe and cover also. So I'm gonna have it all matching pretty soon. All right, so uh, check back later, and my next videos will be on the intercooler, the factory removal, and the ZZP install.